Well, good morning again, guys. February the 16th. Still getting snow falling. 12 degrees out. This morning, I ain't sure what it got down to last night, but it's 12 degrees right now. We finna check on this cold frame and see how it's doing again this morning. Check on our chickens. Check on the dog. Break the water. So he can have some water to drink. But right now we're finna check this cold frame again. Plastic froze a little stiff on it this morning. You got to get it removed. Oh, yeah, 12 degrees, and it's still right above 70 degrees in here. No, 65 degrees, I'm sorry. Still right above 65 degrees, which is still good. Everything's doing good. Looks like I'm gonna have to give them a little bit of water. It's awfully cold to be watering them, but them over is getting dry in them egg carton. I don't guess it's minor as high cold as it is outside if it's 70, 65, and 70 degrees in there, they need a little water. Oh y'all, I'm proud of the little cold frame. And I'm just gonna keep y'all updated through this cold so y'all can see how it's how it's doing. Well guys, got a little bad news. Even though it's still 25 degrees out, the sun's shining bright today. And I come out and my temperature done got up above a hundred in here. And you can see what it done to my little tomato plants. It's about to get them. For some reason, my greenhouse hinge is supposed to, when it starts warming up, open the door. And it's been working, so I don't know if this freezing temperature done froze the fluid in it so hard. It's not thawing out. I don't know. I ain't never had no dealings with one of these greenhouse vent window hinges. But it's been working good ever since I built this thing. But it ain't never been through no hard freeze weather like this. I don't know if that fluid froze in that tube. And it ain't thawing fast enough. I'll tell you what I'm finna do, I'm finna heat it up with a torch. Just to heat it to see if it starts working. And then we'll know if that fluid in that tube is froze or not. But you see I done opened the door and the temperature is falling quick. But I'm glad I come on out here and thought about it. My heat lamps, they've kicked off. So my little thermal control temperature control knob it's working it kicked the heat off but the sun's heating up so fast the door's supposed to open but the door not didn't open for me so i'm gonna take this little torch and see if i can heat that and see if that's just that fluid froze in that tube or it's just done gone bad all together I think I gotta go get another torch, isn't he? I ain't acting right. Even my torch ain't even wanting to work today. That's what it is, guys. That's what it is. The tube was froze. Look at it raising up now. You can see the hinge opening up now.
it just it just done froze that fluid in that tube was froze or whatever's in that tube was froze so solid that it hadn't got hot enough to make it do its thing but there it goes y'all see it jump open so that could have been a bad deal like i said y'all see it done got so hot in there it was starting to wilt wilt my little bitty tomatoes heck they just come up a couple days ago so now Now y'all can see the hood, that's supposed to been opening up like that when it started warming up, so. The thing may not work too good in hard freezing weather if them tubes freeze like that. Anyway, I'm going to keep y'all updated on what's going on with the little fella. Well guys, it's Friday, February the 19th. See my generator sitting on the porch there running. We've been without electricity since Wednesday now. But it ought to all be over with. The sun came out today and started melting some of it. But I thought I'd give an update on this $20 Bionic solar powered light. Let's see how it done through the Freezing weather, ice, snow. And as y'all can see, it came on. So it's done been through about five days below freezing. Three days of froze with ice. It's got ice around it right now, probably a quarter of an inch thick. So I had to give it for the bionic light. It's cheap made of plastic, but it survived that ice storm and still a doing. But the update on my temperature controlled cold frame. I guess you can say it's a failure, but It wasn't expected to work without electricity and we ain't had electricity since Wednesday, so. The little plants in there, that was experimental plants because I already had some indoors under the grow lights, which ain't been under no lights now since Wednesday, so I may be redoing them again. But the cold frame, if you ain't got electricity, it ain't gonna work and I wasn't gonna hook my generator had more important things to worry about than keeping a cold frame going. Especially seeds that I just had in there extra just playing with. What happened the other day before the before our electricity loss it was down into the teens and the little hinge the greenhouse Window vent, window hinge. It's supposed to be heat activated. It was so cold, it froze up and wasn't, wasn't opening the lid that day when the sun come out and it done got up close to 100 degrees in there. But the fluid in that hinge was froze so, so hard as soon as I touched it, which put a little heat on it, it released and started opening, so. I don't know if them hinges is made to work at that low of temperatures or not. I would say probably not, not when it got down into the teens. But it was doing good until we lost electricity though. I come out that day when I knew it was getting hot, I seen the lid wasn't opening so I opened the lid and everything was still doing good until we lost electricity. So that's the little update on the homestead here. I figure it's gonna be a couple more days before we get like 60 and many lines is down.
Today I spent me and my brother at my mom's house, a tree limb fell and hit the power line going to her meter on the side of the house and ripped the meter off the house. We spent six or seven hours getting that rewired. So when they do get electricity and the power and light people can come out there and reconnect to our house, we got the meter new wires put in the run through the meter of weather head and get it all attached back to the side of the house. But other than that, everything's been good. We just have been living off of the generator and propane. So I just wanted to give a little quick update. Hope everyone out there made it through this safely. We had several buildings, sheds, tractor sheds, farmer sheds, horse barns. Several of them caved in around here the last three days. This part of the world, people don't feel stuff thinking about ice and snow piling up on top and all the weight it puts on it. It's something that's very rare in the south. I got worried about my car port there behind me because it ain't, it's 20 by 24, but it ain't, it wasn't built to hold up no snow on top neither. I was watching it closely. If I seen it look like it was bowling, I was going to put me a over four post up under. But it held up. Been there 23 years, and this is the worst snow and ice it's seen. I don't think none of my herbs is gonna make it out there. They they got four inches of nothing but ice on top of them. So I'm sure all them. Only thing I hate that I'm gonna lose probably my onions. I I had onions going since October. And I figure this here is gonna do them in too. Usually our winters is mild enough you can start your onions in October or November and then you got them they ready to pull before the summertime gets in. By the time you get everything else planted, then you can turn around and harvest your onions. Ain't gonna happen this year. Anyway, guys, like I said, I hope everybody made it through this good and safe. Have a blessed day.